Welcome back. The today topic is design a two stack PDA for the language L equals to a power n, b power n, a power n, b power n such that n is belongs to n, n equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So before discussing about the logic, first let me explain you what are the possible strings over this language L equals to. If I take n equals to 1, there is single a followed by single b followed by single a single b a b a b if i take n equals to 2 there is 2 a's followed by 2 b's followed by 2 a's followed by 2 b's if i take n equals to 3 there is 3 a's followed by 3 b's followed by 3 a's followed by 3 b's and so on so first let me tell you the logic let's assume that initial state is q0 and initial symbol in the stack 1 is z0 initial symbol in the stack 2 is z1 on state q0 first read a push a onto the stack 1 without doing any operation on stack 2 then read next a push a onto the stack 1 without doing any operation on stack 2 then read b by changing state from q0 to q1 because i have to show difference in the state and now we are reading b so read b push b onto the stack 2 without doing any operation on stack 1 next read b push b onto the stack 2 without doing any operation on stack 1 now so first a's are completed next b's are completed then again a's are starting you know the logic these a's are equals to these a's and these b's are equals to these b's okay now read a by changing state from q1 to q2 i have to ensure that i am reading the second a's so read a and pop top element from the stack one that is a without doing any operation on stack two then read next a pop top element from the stack 1 that is a without doing any operation on stack 2 now next b's are starting so q2 with b change state from q2 to q3 i have to ensure now second b's are reading so for every b try to pop top element from the stack 2 without doing any operation on stack 1 then next b try to pop top element from the stack 2 without doing any operation on stack 1 now on state q3 stack 1 contains only z0 stack 2 contains only z1 what is the last element b is completed now it is epsilon so q3 epsilon z0 z1 move to the final state we can say a string is accepted by final state now write the transitions transition of q0 so first input symbol is a top of the stack 1 is z0 top of the stack 2 is z1 so add a onto the stack 1 without doing any operation on stack 2 q0 a z0 comma z1 i am meaning that i just add a onto the stack 1 yes then let's assume one more a is there so transition of q0 input symbol is a now you observe what are the top of the stack 1 it is a so a and what is top of the stack to z1 only that is equals to add a onto the stack 1 without doing any operation on stack 2 q0 a a z1 now this a is also pushed onto the stack 1 now let's assume that one more a is there you can repeat the same transition no need to write any different transition now we are reading b's so transition of q0 b top of the stack 1 is a a and top of the stack 2 is z1 equals to i am asking you to change state from q0 to q1 because now we are reading this we have to show the configuration difference equals to q1 comma don't do any operation on stack 1 that's why it is a only but add b onto the stack 2 so b z1 so read b add b onto the stack 2 then one more b is there so transition of q1 comma b top of the stack is a now you tell me what the top of the stack 2 is b add b onto the stack 2 without doing any operation on stack 1 so q1 a comma b b so this b is also added onto the stack 2 
yes now transition of q1 next in next input is yes are started i mean second yes are started input symbol is a top of the stack one is a top of the stack two is a b equals to now change state from q1 to q2 i have to do the pop operation on stack one without doing any operation on stack two so q2 comma do the pop operation on stack one epsilon comma top of the stack 2 is b i am not doing any operation on stack 2 so remove a from the stack 1 then let's assume one more row. a is exist so transition of q2 input symbol is a top of the stack 1 is a comma top of the stack 2 is a b equals to do the pop operation remains on the same state no, not operation on stack 2 so a is removed then if any a's are there you can repeat the same transition okay let's assume that now b's are starting second b's are starting so how we written it is transition of q2 input symbol is b now you tell me after a's are completed top of the stack one is z not so z not comma top of the stack two is b so move to the state q2 to q3 by doing the pop operation on stack 2 so it is z0 comma b is removed then transition of q3 let's assume one more b is there input symbol is b top of the stack 1 is z0 top of the stack 2 is b do the pop operation on stack 2 equals to q3 z0 comma epsilon Let's assume one more B is there. Do the uh, same operation by using the same transition. No need to write the different transition. Let's assume that B's are completed. Okay. Now we are in state Q3. Input is after B's are completed. What is input is epsilon. Top of the stack one is Z0. Top of the stack two is Z1. Move to the final state without doing any operation on stack one or stack two. So now it is QF. QF is what called acceptance by final state. Now define the two stack PDM machine definition for this design. M equals to Q sigma stack one alphabet stack two alphabet transitions Q naught Z naught initial symbol in the stack one Z one initial symbol in the stack two final states. Now define one by one. Here I am writing Q equals to what are the states is Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3 and QF all these states. Then sigma equals to what are the input symbols we place in the input tape is A comma B only. Then stack 1 alphabet equals to initial symbol is Z0 and we place only S yes, so A. Then stack 2 alphabet is initial symbol is Z1 we place only B is here. Then z0 equals to z0 then z1 equals to z1 then uh, f equals to qf so this is what the uh, design of this problem